5x5 doors are really cool, and they can either vary from this disgustingly huge, like honestly, how do you make a 5x5 this humongous, to something a lot more compact and reasonably sized like this one. This is actually a brand new 5x5, it's like a few weeks old, you've uh, n never shown it on my channel, and might make a tutorial on it because it's really nice, like look how quick that was, there's a little bit of lag, but it is pretty fast, 612 blocks in volume, and yeah. But, uh, you know, other people have made 5x5s, and other people, so much so that there's an entire plot on the Synergy server devoted to 5x5s. Like, look how many 5x5 piss and doors are on this plot. And the really cool thing about all of these 5x5s is that you can actually, like, interchange them, like, some kind of costume creator thing. And what I mean by that is that you can actually swap out the tops and the bottoms of 5x5s like as you please and they basically won't affect each other because all the tops and the bottoms do the exact same thing basically. As you can see this is a perfect example. This was my first attempt at a seamless 5x5. Look at how thick it is. But the top really thick but then the bottom looks a little bit weird like it's four wide, but the top is six wide. That's because I just took someone else's bottom. I didn't make my own bottom. But yeah, as you can see, you can change out the tops and the bottoms of each 5x5. Five five. So that begs the question, how many different 5x5s five can you make only using the existing 5x5s five five on this 5x5 five five plot? Now this is basically most of the 5x5s five five basically ever made. We got really old ones, we got new ones. So yeah, and I'm telling you now, the number is actually really huge. So let's just walk through the process of how I did this. So the first thing we want to do is define what kind of 5x5s we want to count, or like what 5x5s are actually going to count towards our final number, because there's a lot of different ways to make 5x5s. You can make them seamless, non-seamless, even the seamless designs have multiple different ways of making them. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to find only 5x5s that use this layout right here. That was made by Sydney way back when he and Deco made the first 950 block 5x5. This layout is still used a lot today, so basically how it works, I'm not going to like power it because then it's going to get all complicated. We have these pistons pushing these iron blocks in front of this top part. And then this quad extender will just like double extend and then we get our two first layers up here. And then the bottom just takes care of the bottom three layers because we have these three blocks here, these three blocks, and these three blocks. I'll just show an existing one. This is the 5x5 five five you've seen before. So as you can see, we get our top two and we get our bottom three. Now how it opens is probably the most interesting part. So because this is double extended, it's like already half extended the quad. It will push all of the blocks down to the bottom and the bottom will basically collect the blocks and then this triple piston extender will push up the blocks again and then the quad will collect those blocks so let's just see that working over here so the quad pushes everything down collects it that pushes up and then the quad will collect it again just like that now i'm showing this five by five because it's a lot slower and you can see what's happening but yeah these things could be made to be pretty fast but the interesting thing, like I said earlier, is that you can interchange the tops and the bottoms of these layouts. But there's also one more layout I want to talk about, which is Megatech's layout that he used in his former smallest 5x5. So this layout, I'm not going to be counting these layouts towards our final count because they're not really the standard layout. This layout only is like in a couple of really tiny 5x5 five five piston doors, then after that observer flying machines were used and abused to break the records of this. So no observer flying machines and we're not using Megatech's layout for this. So now that we know what we're counting, how many of these things are there? Hey, it's Jeff on the mic, here to tell you that Dueling Ant, right, it's supposed to be on turn and smoking, but it's not, it still does the same damage and it makes your lungs rot. DJ, do not jewel, DJ, do not jewel, DJ, do not jewel, if you hit the jewel, then you ain't cool. 37% of those in grade 12, 
they hit the jewel When they hear the bell They don't wanna be missing out or face the criticism But rather indulge themselves into a harmful nicotine addiction DJ Do not jewel DJ Do not jewel DJ Do not jewel If you hit the jewel Then you ain't cool if you're walking down the hall and you see something suspicious, make sure to tell the teacher if you think that it's malicious. From the bathroom, water vapors I smell. If you hit the jewel, then you're going straight to hell. DJ, do not jewel. DJ, do not jewel. DJ, do not jewel. Remember, kids, that vaping ain't cool. Ka 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 Okie dokie, we have a big number of 5 by 5s But now what the heck do we do with that giant number of 208 5 by 5s Well, let me explain how exactly we're gonna find out all the combinations we can do. So, for this little example, we're gonna use these two 612 5 by 5s over here. So, right now we have only two original 5 by 5 designs. The only way we can make two more is if we swap the tops or we swap the bottoms. For simplicity's sake, let's just only swap the tops and just keep the bottoms where they are. So if we swap the tops of my and Pixie's 612 and Perry's 612, then we will get two more 5x5 designs up there. And if we just switch the tops again, well, there we go. They're just back to normal. And if you j just switch the tops and then switch the bottoms again, well, you just basically switch the 5x5's places. So we have four total 5x5 five five designs coming from these two original ones. So let's just go over here so you can also see sort of how it works because that might not have helped. So let's say these blue blocks represent the 5x5 five five top circuit and these green blocks represent the 5x5 five five bottom circuit. So let's say this is my design and with Pixies and this is Perry's design. So these are the original designs, and if we just swap the tops and keep the bottoms where we are, we have two more designs over here, and if we just swap the bottoms, well, we just get this again. So it's not going to really change anything. So basically, our equation is just the number of 5 by 5s we have squared. So it's just 208 to the power of 2. So here's a better example. Now we have four original 5 by 5s over here. And then you just like shift over the top, so like light blue is here now, cyan is there, blue is there, and then the lapis block is over here. So you kind of just shift over the blocks like that, and it'll kind of help you visualize how this combination stuff works. Now imagine this, but with 208 5x5s. So, that puts our final number of total possible 5x5s using those 208 5x5s at 43,000. 264 different 5x5s. Now that's a big number, but what does that even mean? Like, how much is 43,000 5x5s? Well, I'm just gonna say it's a lot of 5x5s, and I'm just gonna show just how big and just how many 5x5s that is right now. Now, obviously, 40,000 5x5s is a lot of 5x5s. But how long would it take to make all of those 5x5s? Well, if you are someone like the 5x5 Master Hard FG 5000, you'd probably make, like, I don't know, around 5 5x5s a day. So I'm just gonna fly slowly past 5 5x5s. Five so that's like around here. That's how many 5x5s five five you'd make in one single day. So if you did 5 5x5s, five one day in the day, every single day for a year, you'd make about 1,825 5 by 5s a year. But you still have like 43,000 5 by 5s to make, so how long is that gonna take? Well, let's say you were to make those 1,825 5 by 5s every single year, it would still take you approximately 24 years to make every single one of those 5 by 5s so yeah that's a lot of 5 by 5s for one person to handle or maybe making 5 by 5s by hand isn't for you so let's say you somehow had a command block creation that made one 5 by 5 per second well you'd still need to be running that command block creation whatever it is 
for almost 12 hours, actually a bit more than 12 hours, 12.017 if I remember correctly. So yeah, still, even if you placed one 5x5 five five a second, which just isn't physically possible, you'd still have to be doing that for 12 whole hours. But not only will the 40,000 5x5s five take forever to build, they're also going to take up a heck of a lot of space. I mean, this 5x5 five five plot alone is roughly 150 by 300 and it only has like 200 5x5s five five but also there are some spaces in between you could also probably fit you could double this amount of 5x5s five by, fives by putting 5x5s five fives in the slots but that's besides the point it would take up a lot of space so if we assume that all of the 5x5s five five that we're making are 612 blocks in volume which is basically the average size and the standard size for a 5x5 five five anyway then we would have a volume of 26,477,568 cubic meters, which is about equal to 25.271 Empire State buildings. Now, if we were to just lay down all the 5x5s five next to each other on the floor and just go by their footprint, each 5x5 five five, that is 612 blocks takes about a footprint of 9x4 or 36 blocks. So that would mean it would take up 1,557,504 square meters or roughly 291.1 football fields. So you could just imagine a bunch of 5x5s five lying flat taking up the area of almost 300 of these football fields and it's just 17 meters tall. Just imagine a giant slab of that. But oh no no, we are not done yet. What about all the sticky pistons and stuff? How many sticky pistons do we need to make to make all of those piston doors? Well, uh, coincidentally, a 612 layout, it has exactly 40 pistons, so that's pretty easy math, except I did not consider the two updater pistons that would go on the quad. So that's actually 42 pistons per 612 5x5. So if we were to take 42 multiplied by 43,264, that would give us roughly 1,817,088 pistons to make every single one of those 5x5s. Five That's only for the piston layout, not in the actual redstone. That's just the piston layout. So, I hope you enjoyed this different, weird kind of video where I do, like, math and do mind-boggling facts about redstone. If you want me to make more of these kinds of videos, they're, they're pretty interesting to make. So yeah, okay, anyway, goodbye, end screen stuff, blah blah blah.